transient witness is a film, an attempt to try and think about um, shifting and metamorphose of collections and archive through a donation that actually occurred, the donation of the archive and collection of Egidio Marzona that is to the State Art Collection of Dresden. Uh, this impressive collection and archive contains 1.5 million objects and it's going to be part of complex of other 15 museums that are uh, characterized by their Baroque nature. And I tried to pick or to suggest a new point of view through, of course, uh, very personal stories that are the encounter between the art handler, Maurizio, the director of the archive, uh, Christina, and uh, the most important commodity of the collector presents the dog who observes them. Wow! <laughs> Christina! Like I said, the collect Egidio really has a dog. I found him and his partner really attached to, to, to their dog uh, in a quite a beautiful way. And when the first time I came to have a meeting with them, uh, that was, by the way, a very, not even knowing if a film or something going to happen. When we went out, I told Stefan Au, oh, I think the dog is very important for what I want to to make. I just felt that this uh, non-human uh, that had a lot of personality uh, probably knows these objects better than uh, everybody else <laughs> in a certain way. And I also thought that it's interesting that it's I think I said it, but it's probably the most valuable commodity because it's a living commodity. Afterwards, it developed into more beautiful ideas that the dog is also an animal, how we understand animals, what are the relationship that we have animals. In the beginning, you think, okay, maybe a Baroque sculpture can actually be scary to presents, but the uh, Elisitsky black and red squares probably it's just like what what it is he sees it differently and so on I, I left this ideas a little bit but the present the presence of presence uh, helped a lot to be the motor of the film questa è la storia di fantascienza di Elisitsky ne esistono solo 50 di copie Schwarzes und ein rotes Quadrat kommen aus dem Weltall und unterwerfen die Erde. Io però me la ricordavo un po' diversa. Il quadrato rosso e il quadrato nero non erano due mondi sempre in guerra fra di loro, che a forza di combattere non ci capivano più niente e poi senza accorgersene erano diventati un solo quadrato. The film deals with a lot of imagery, with problematic representation with art, culture, life, and everything gets mixed together, again into one dough uh, of synonyms and oxymorons, of contradictions that come together. And to what I do expect, expect is to create a certain network and layer of illusion and of also unconscious threads that are also relates a lot to emotions and kind of also set this um, far memory that art also relates a lot to things that actually we feel and through that we start to think. So that again brings us to this contradictory uh, contradictions between the images, between the words what they say and how everything stays in great harmony while each 
protagonist in the film basically speaks in another language and it seems like they understand completely one another. That's how I would like people to, to relate. So trying to find moments to connect emotionally to th these fake people and to the art and to these contradictions that I try to offer. relationship, conflicts, uh, friendships between institutions, mainly cultural institutions, but also this is shifting a little bit, and individuals is a big chunk of my practice. And uh, in Los Quermo dell'Arte, we showed first the film The Right, then in Feature Expanded, I made a suggestion that, by the way, came a lot inside this project. Uh, but sadly, uh, we still haven't done a name inside Guillaume. I think that also in the two coming projects, it's that the institution becomes more and more of an individual. And shockingly, the uh, individual becomes to be more and more institutional, which is also, I believe, shockingly and sadly what the process that we are going through as society. You can say also uh, the shift into more and more right-wing ideas, but also the shift more and more that the human becomes a machine and so on. Like you can think about it, like what does it mean the human become more and more, or that the human institutionalize itself more and more, and that the institution becomes more and more human in a certain way. So I think that this is kind of uh, where the future is going and where is the point where it is right now. Yeah.